All right, welcome to His Glassworks. We're in our new digs here. You see in the background, we have pallets and pallets of all kinds of glass from Schott. Only Schott glass, only the best, made in America. But I want to give an illustration of some of the things we have. Our standard fare over here will be the LF5, which is 35% uh, lead crystal. It, uh, we're, we're sell full bars, and half bars as a rule. Um, beautiful clear glass. Uh, got tape on the end so I don't cut my hands. Uh, bars in a different sizes and shapes, different thicknesses. Uh, we have LF5 here and very thick, very heavy. Um, these can be used as solid pieces for casting, polishing and laminating to build up your sculptures. We also have some BK7, which is a borosilicate glass. Just as clear, just as beautiful. Uh, different index of refraction, not really for casting. Uh, that's a very high temperature glass. We also have bars in different shapes and colors sound pretty when they bang together, but this glass is cast and formed and the process they use does put a texture on the outside of the glass. Beautiful as it is, but uh, generally we'll probably need some grinding and polishing and other BK7. Now other glasses that we have, these are basically half bars. It's a golden yellow glass. It's an F2, which makes it, uh, I believe, 45% lead crystal. Truly awesome for casting. This is essentially a full bar of the yellow glass. A um, little rough on the ends, generally, because they cast it and cut it into shapes. Um, other glasses that we have, this is also LF5, which is the 35% lead crystal. We've got one pallet of this. A bar weighs about 23 pounds, a little over 23 on average. Um, it is 70 millimeters by 70 millimeter square, uh, roughly three and a half inches, three and a quarter to three and a half inches. These will only sell as full bars. So that's 23 pounds. Other specialty glasses that they're providing to us. One is a black glass. I think that's probably about uh, four inches across, a little less than an inch thick. And this is how long they are. About 15 inches, I think. Um, like I said, solid, pure black. Some of them have a little writing on it, uh, the lot number, whatever, but just a beautiful glass. They say it's not the best for casting, but that would be for you to experiment and see. They have another glass, which they call taupe. It's kind of a brownish color. Um, these are all this size also. Um, they're probably about a centimeter thick. What's that? Maybe four or five inches wide. That long. This has been successfully cast. And Another specialty glass is the didymium. This is truly a fun glass. Now, you can see that it's really not perfectly clear and polished, just like all of their glasses. So it has texture. But depending on the light that transmits through it, it's either a rose color or a light green color. So if I hold this up to that light, one of these is mercury vapor, and one of them is a sodium vapor. You can see different colors from the same glass. And these are provided to us in basically their cutoffs. So there's some long pieces, there's some small pieces, there are some smaller pieces. So you'll be getting four pounds of glass in one or two pieces. And most likely it'll be two pieces. 
we'll try to make you a good selection. And for $29, you can't go wrong. Um, it is a soft glass. It can be fused, slumped, and probably even cast. We've not done a lot of experimenting with this, but um, beautiful glasses. Other specialty glasses that they provided for us to market to artists are some BK7 borosilicate glass in a gob form, great for paperweight makers, or sculpture bases, however you want to grind and polish. Not necessarily good for casting unless you have really, really high temperature. Available in trays of 24. Each individual gob is about one and a third pounds or 600 grams. Um, dust is free. Other materials they have also in a tray form are some cast lenses that they provide to us. Again, these are lenses, but they're not polished, so they're not good for fire starters yet. Um, sculpture, however you want to use them. Uh, these are also, I believe, a BK7. Some of this information they did not give us as to exactly what things are. Uh, the other two specialty glasses that they gave us, one are some very high quality glass, but small little specialty prisms that are generally used in uh, microscope, I'm sorry, in binoculars. And it's a premium glass. It is somewhat soft, so it can be cast. Kind of a very high tech uh, nugget. And these are available in trays of 108 pieces. The other thing is a glass, curious little ripples. Um, again, not perfectly polished, but uh, fun nevertheless. And these are also a, an NBK7. And um, so it's a hard glass. Okay. These are available by the tray. And a tray looks like this. It is an NBK7, so bore silicate, all lined up. This is the partial tray that I'm using just to uh, experiment with. But a full tray has 245 pieces in it. The S8 gobs, generally for paperweight makers. Uh, supply on this is limited. Um, it's going to be a while till there's going to be another melt. And the only sizes that are available are a 150 gram weight, a 400 gram weight, and a 750 gram weight. They have had other sizes available, but again, this is all that they have at the moment.